Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Force here with some more Friday Night Magic, and today we're going to be playing the Jund Surge deck from Henwen of No Goblins Allowed. The opening hand is... that's You know, it's not so bad, actually. We're going to keep it, because we've got two... We don't have any turn two drops, which uh, this deck does have a handful of, actually quite a bit, uh, but we do have a, a few turn three drops, plus the Savage Land's nice because we get that mana variety that we're going to so desperately need. So this is a red, black, and green deck. It uses Warstorm Surge, lots of small creatures, uh, the ability to sacrifice those things to clear boards and uh, do some fun stuff, and then we've got some big late game beats like the Whispering one. Uh, my Colleth and uh, even Vengevine is pretty decent. Uh, turn two, we're going to play the other Savage Lands and then just pass the turn. And uh, we do have the Rabble Master or the Sprouting Thrinax. Um, eh. So tough. I think we might play the uh, Rabble Master. This is going to potentially get us a bunch of small goblins in play, which we can sacrifice for the McCollith and uh, get some huge Devour tokens on him, plus get a bunch of 1-1s in subsequent turns. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, so I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's, uh, this turn, let's go ahead and play a Mountain, and then we will Rabble Master. Now another fun thing too is you could set up a turn with uh, a Devour creature synergized with Act of Treason. So steal an opponent's creature, attack them with it, and then uh, sacrifice it to devour. Plus, we also have uh, sacrificing off of blasting stations here, which is supposed to be used to help like deal with uh, aggro style decks, which you guys know, as you've seen in it, just me play, uh, it's just so prevalent in, in any of duels. There's a wall of omens, so he gets some blocking. So this is obviously a uh, like a controly and or late game deck where he's gonna try to get a bunch of, yeah, there's a second cult of it, I mean, so he might have some pretty big things to take, uh, to get into, but again, we do have, we've got some options here, we've got some stuff that we can do, so. And the question is, do I play another Rabble Master? It is certainly an option right now. Um, it's pretty aggressive, but I think I'm gonna do it. We're gonna play Golgari Gilgate, we're gonna play the other Rabble Master. So this is gonna get me, uh, three goblin tokens attacking now, plus this goblin. He is forced to attack these, these two force each other to swing. But if, if I feel like that's a problem, I could sacrifice uh, one of them in an upcoming turn with uh, McCulloth. So let's go ahead and swing with this. This is going to be huge. Uh, he gets an extra attack for each one, so there's a 5-2. So he might just chump block that, and then block one of the... No, he's, he's gonna, is he going to block that with his wall? He's going to sack his... He's going to sack his wall, sack his 1-1. One, one. Okay. But we only lose one creature in the process. We only lose a single token here, which is really good for us. Really, really good. Now, let's see what he plays now. He's got a ton of mana. He's been working up to it. He's got seven mana now, after playing this mountain here. With the seven mana, he plays a Runescar Demon. Okay. So, we cannot yet do our combo. We require eight mana, actually, to do this little fun combo here. We... We could just Krenko's Command and get, like, a... Huge. I mean, I can also just steal that. Wait, how much are we going to hit for here, actually? Wait one second. We're going to get two more goblins. So these are going to be hitting for six each. So that's... Tw oh my god, we win. <laughs> we just win right now. Holy crap. These are going to be six each. It's 12, plus four more, plus the six in the air. That is unbelievable. I can't even believe it. I did not expect that. I was thinking, like, late game, I'm like, what do I do about the Runescar Demon? When can I do my, like, combo? We don't need to do any of that. We just attack with... Oh. <laughs> I did not even... I did not even expect it. Oh, they're 7 each. Okay, that's right, because they count the other Rabble Master. That's just... Okay... I'm not even playing around. I was not expecting that. That was absolutely absurd. It just... Whatever. Uh, that's hilarious. This is really good. So we've got two of these, plus the Krenko's Command, and our Blasting Station. The Blasting Station is used to... I'm gonna keep this in. The Blasting Station is used, again, to deal with weenie aggro decks, which, as I mentioned at the top of the last video, it's just... It's everywhere in duels. You can't turn a corner without 
facing off against aggressive style decks. So there's nothing else for him to do right now. So I don't know why he's not passing the turn. Unless he's got a zero mana drop. Or he could sack his land for something. I don't know. Um, do I want to play the Krenko's Command right now? No, let's just play the Guild Gate. And then we can um, throw this guy down next turn. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I did, why didn't I play the Savage Lands? And I thought I, I was on, I thought I already had a land in play. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so there's the Paladin. Um, we're gonna be able to kill that with the uh, Blasting Station. I'm gonna play the Savage Lands right now. What am I doing? I was like, I was like, oh, well, maybe should I play the Krenko's Command? That's impossible force. And you don't already have a land in play, so you should have played the Savage Land first. I don't know what I'm doing. We've got this guy, which is really good. Ah, that sucks. Um, how do I want to play this out here? I can play... Should I play the Blasting Station first, and I can ping that for one, and then play a Krenko's Command and ping it for two the turn after? Well, he's not going to be making use of his Exalted soon. The pro My problem is this guy, but I can set up a kill with the Sprouting... With this guy, for him, I can set up a kill for that. So the question now is, how do I, how do I best approach this? I'll just play this guy for now, I think. I'm gonna play the three three for now, and I'm considering not blocking and saving it for a, a block. Because what I can do is, I can blasting station. This thing dies, and then I can blasting station again when when the creatures hit play. He's going to arrest. Oh my god. Can't attack our block. Well, I'll be able to sacrifice it with the blasting station. Okay. So I'll be able to kill this guy off, I guess. This guy can't attack our block anymore. But I'm taking a lot of damage in the process here. So I can kill off... I, I, I don't know how the stack works. It doesn't matter. I'm going to die soon. Well, no. I, I'm going to buy myself some time here. Starting now. Um, so I need to play the Blasting Station because I need to start doing some stuff. So I'm just going to play the Savage Lands now because I won't have any use for that extra man anyways. So we're going to do this. And then what I do is I sacrifice it. Creature. Kill is 2-2. Two, two. Sacrifice this. Okay. So it deals one damage. Creatures come into play. He's got three stacks now. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. This, this, this does work with the stack. That's hilarious. I, oh, I have to do it in response. Shit, I messed that up. Uh, I missed out on a, a, a bit of damage. I missed out on a bit of damage because I didn't do it on the stack. Okay, I have to wait for it to untap again. Oh no. Shoot. Shoot, I missed out on Dan. Oh my god. I, this freaking duels interface is so dumb. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, Mentor of the Meek comes into play. Untap it, yes. Then I'm gonna sacrifice a creature to kill that. Sacrifice this. Okay. All right, I'm not completely out of the game yet. And then I can block Sack to kill his 1-1. I think. Yeah. So that's gonna untap. Untap Blasting Station, yes. Okay. And then... So then it's blocking. I can block. Yes. And then I can sacrifice it. Uh, and we'll deal it to this. Sacrifice this to kill his 1 1. So we prevent all damage for this turn. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, now, now I know, now I know I can use that stack stuff, which is going to be insanely helpful going forward. Insanely helpful. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and. We can play one of these, plus we can play a Wayfinder or a Brain Maggot. I think I kind of want to play a Brain Maggot, so let's play one of these. 
There's no untapping for you to do. No, doesn't matter. All right, and then let's play our Brain Maggot, because uh, I want to get rid of something in his hand, because I'm sure he's got something that's going to make my day hell. So we're going to look at his hand. I don't anticipate to win this game, but it's fun to be able to play around with this tech. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not sacrificing anything right now, anyways. All right. Target opponent sacrifices a creature, you gain life, you its toughness. Uh, destroy target creature, power four or greater. I'd rather get rid of this right now. Would I? No, let's get rid of it. Well, I don't have any big creatures for reprisal to kill. So let's just get rid of the Tribute of Hunger right now. Because that's it's more useful now um, in this situation. I do eventually have creatures that he could kill with that, but not at the moment, so whatever. Uh, and then we just pass the turn. So if he attacks, I can block that, ping. No, because then that damage will be prevented. I'll have to figure out how I want to do this. Because if I block that and then, but I sacrifice this, I guess he can, I can sack this and he'll get that back. He'll get his, uh, thing back. Maybe I should do that. So that I, um... So that I kill this, because I really want this to die. Like, it needs to die. So I guess I get him back his thing. Okay, so let's block this. Or I could wait until those come into play. Just the thing is, do I want to get that extra tap of this right now? Alright, well let me do it as they're coming into play. So there's the three damage. Okay. Goes through. And then, okay, so let's start off by pinging this. Okay, sack this. And then a trigger goes through, untap, and then I pause it, ping this, sacrifice this. Okay. And then a trigger goes through, pause it. Ping this. This is, so <laughs> this is so much fun. Sacrifice this. Okay. All right. Good. Now, we're at, we're at nine, though, and we don't exactly have any threats um, going on at the moment. But we have cleared his board, and he's got a reprisal, and apparently not another creature. That's really good for us. Let's play Mastin Myers. I, I just want to get the card draw. It's, plus, it's a decent-sized creature in play. Do I need to untap it? No. So, uh, Master Myers comes into play, we get a card draw. The cool thing about Master Myers is it can, it can return from the graveyard. When I play a creature spell, I can pay two to return it to the graveyard. And then I can sack it, pay two again. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man. This is such a fun little deck. This is really fun. I'm glad we're playing this today. Alright. So let's see here. Not gonna attack for one, obviously. All right, so, play a forest. We're gonna go into combat phase. I'm gonna swing for three. Guessing he just blocks it. He doesn't, all right. Then what I can do is I can sacrifice this, ping that, sack him. Boom. Then I play Kranko's Command. Creature comes into play. A couple of things happen. Uh, stacks trigger. Yes. I should be able to... Oh, you know what? Those don't count as creature spells. Damn it. I didn't realize that. Well, I'm not going to ping those guys off yet. Those don't count as creature spells, though. Let's play the Wayfinder. Now that counts. Jeez. That stinks. Okay, so those, the tokens don't count as creature spells, so I can't pull him back with those. Um, I'm not going to sacrifice any of these, so it doesn't matter. That, that's not, that definitely wasn't the best use of... Um, definitely wasn't the best use of that stuff, though. Because I would want to use that to ping some of his small stuff. So, whatever. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. I'll, I'll carry that knowledge into the next game. 
But I basically missed a bunch of uh, pinging opportunities for small creatures because of how I did that, because of how I ordered everything. That's a big bummer. Oh well, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna uh, just swing with everything here. He's just worried because if he's got small stuff, he's like, well, is that guy just gonna kill my things as soon as I play it? Like, it, if he's running a bunch of small creatures, I could just kill it as soon as he plays it. Alright, let's play the um, Admirers. Draw a card. Bada boom, bada bing. Dr card draw happens. I should have attacked first. I don't know why I played the Admirers first. There's really no good reason. Let's go ahead and attack with everything now. I don't want to play this yet. I don't want to overcommit. Like, I already have a huge board right now. I want to be careful about overcommitting. Plus, I can use the playing of the Vengevine to pull this guy back after a sacrifice or something. So, um, so we're just going to hold on to the board that we have right now because we've got a strong board. And we, we again, we don't want to overcommit anything. Because then he plays a board clearer and then we're done, you know? Plays an armor. It's plus one, plus one. It has first strike. Okay. All right. Let's attack with uh, just these. I don't want to attack with the um, this guy. Let's see what he does here. All right, so I can just sacrifice that since it's dying anyways. Um, actually, let's go back. Let's do players. And I'm going to do damage to his face. Sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. Do damage to his face. So he takes the 3, 4, 5, 6 damage total for this turn. Oh, maybe I should have played the Vengevine because then I could have won next turn. Oh, well. Again, we're just going to... I'm not going to overextend. I see no reason to. So we're just going to sit here and enjoy this. This game that started off so terrifying, but it looks like it turns into a victory. You know what, I'm, let's just go ahead and play the Vengevine right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. No, and we will swing with these. Let's see what he does. I'm guessing he blocks the 4-3. Blocks the 3-2. So it's f and then reprisals. Okay, so then um, let's see here. I don't need to kill that. This thing's dead anyways, so let's sacrifice it to deal damage to his face. Yeah, we'll deal damage to his face. Sack this. And then we can get him back for free. Oh, I need to cast two creature spells. The Krankos Command doesn't count as one of them. Huh. Why? Maybe I should. No, let's. He's at five, whatever. It's alright. This is fun because this is like. It's not easy to figure out. Like, you actually have to, I actually have to think about my turn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, this does not matter. Him having a huge wall does not matter at all. So. Alright, that all untaps. So I just attack with... I attack with these three. He blocks that. I sack it for damage. I play these, sack a couple more, and then he just loses. Oh, he's got zero cards in hand. Okay, so it's game over. Alright, so swing with these three. Here's how this goes. Swing with these three. He blocks the 3-2. We sacrifice it. Deal damage to his face. This is really fun. I like this a lot. So, 3 damage goes to his face. Alright. And then we play Kranko's Command, and that just wins us the game. Kranko's Command. Two creatures come into play. We uh, choose yes to untap one. We sacrifice to deal damage to him. And then we do it again with the second stack. 
we say yes to untap one. This is, what a great little deck. What a fun little deck. One damage to his face, and that is the game. He. This is a pretty interesting hand, huh? I think I keep it with the Wayfinder. Two taps, we're gonna get our third mana for sure. And three mana is all we need with this hand. So let's keep this. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep this. Play the Savage Lands uh, to start. Unfortunately, next turn will be another tap land, so we won't be able to play the Wayfinder right away, but the the flip side is we could get, uh-oh, opponent mulligan down to five. Uh, the flip side is we could just get a land on the next draw, and then we could play the Wayfinder, and then play probably the Rabble Master after that, depending on what we see here. I really hope that he's an aggro deck. I'm gonna have a good good time if it is. Really hope that he's an aggro deck, because this will be, if he's white weenie, I'm just gonna laugh my face off. All right. Well, maybe not. Could just be late game uh, stall. Another wall of uh, blossoms, the white version. Uh, so I think we, let's just wayfinder here. We do have the brain maggot to play, but I can hold off on that for a little bit. And uh, we should have a land in the top four, hopefully. Yes, we do, multiple. We only lose an active treason, that's good. Uh, crap, what kind of land do I need though? Probably a green. I have more double green things than double black. I'll make sure I at least have double green available. Play that third land. Yeah, we should be good. I mean, we've got the savage lands if nothing else, so. And this is, oh, that was green black? Okay, well that's fine, it works out. The only thing we don't have right now is double red, but uh, yeah, this deck doesn't even run double red. All right, so he is late game, he is not weenie. So this game could go not what I want it to. Um. <laughs> For that reason, no, it's a little too early to need to play the Cultivate. I don't think he's gonna have a five drop that I'm like absolutely petrified of. So let me just, um, let's just play the Rabble Master now. And then next turn we can Maggot. Next turn we'll probably Wayfinder Maggot. So let's attack for two. Yeah, I don't think I'd be so concerned about a five drop. It's stuff after that that's a real concern. And we're gonna, we can have a huge creature with this thing, with all the tokens that we're gonna have, especially from the, this early Rabble Master. We could have just a gigantic, what, what are you doing? You block one of them. Hey, you block one of them, you let one go through. There you go, there you go. All right. Tricolor from him. Green, black, white. Plays another Wall of Omens. Every time I see it, I want to call it Wall of Blossoms. All right. Um, I hope this works out. Keeping my fingers crossed here. Please have a basic land. Please, 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 please. Beautiful. I'm gonna play this. Wait, can I Brain Maggot right now? Shit, I don't even know what's untapped right now. Okay, good, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna Brain Maggot. I know it's better to take that tap land for uh, options, but to be able to do this, Zambi, to be able to do what I wanted to do this turn, I had to, oh boy, two Palaka Worms are terrifying. But this is even more terrifying than two Palaka Worms. So we're gonna get rid of Grizzle Bran, and we're gonna let him keep the Palaka Worms. And then we attack with everything. This is gonna be four damage. So if he chooses to block with a wall, he'll lose it. If he chooses, he'll probably just choose to take the damage given that he has the Black of Worms. Like he's gonna get life gain very soon. Not this turn, but the turn after he'll be gaining seven life. The thing is our Rabble Masters are gonna be huge. I think I'm gonna throw down both Rabble Masters so we get huge, huge attacks with them. I think that's what we'll do. Put down another Rabble Master right now? Hell, let's just do it. Let's put down another Rabble Master right now. And again, remember, we can get a gigantic one of these, like a tremendous one. And the, the synergy between this thing and Blasting Station is ridiculous. Because we get new tokens every upkeep that we can trigger with the Blasting Tokens. Like, it's hilarious. And I'm going to attack with a Brain Maggot as well, because um, he doesn't have anything to kill it. So this is a 6-2 now. I'm guessing at this point he'll be blocking it. I have to assume he will be. 
But here's the thing. Even though next turn he is going to play a Placa Worm, our Rabble Masters are going to be attacking for nine damage? Wait, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're going to be attacking for nine damage each. <laughs> and he's at three. Oh my god. I think we just win here. If he plays a Placa Worm, I think we... Okay, so he gains seven life. That brings him up to ten. Well, no, because he can block the Rabble Masters now with his walls. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to block the Rabble Masters with his walls. Oh my god, Vengevine. Alright, I'll just play the Vengevine. Because it'll come back anyways. Uh, but I'm guessing what's going to happen is both Rabble Masters get blocked. Um, by the walls. The Vengevine gets blocked by his uh, Palaka Worm. And do I attack... Uh, no, let's not attack with the Maggot. Because I don't want him to... Get back Rizzlebrand. If he gets back Rizzlebrand, that's a big problem for me. So the Rabble Masters swing for nine. These Both of these get blocked by his walls. He blocks and kills this. He takes six, seven, eight. Oh, he is going to trade his Palaka Worm for a Rabble Master. Okay. And then he trades both of his walls. So he draws a card. So he's dead next turn. I think that was the wrong move. Although he probably would have been dead next turn anyways. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do right here. Palaka Worm doesn't save him. Wait, does it? Palaka Worm? Okay, yeah, no, it does. He leaves again. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, my friends. That brings him up to nine. He blocks the Rabble Master. He takes more than enough damage. And we win the game. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Friday Night Magic. Once again, checking out the Jund Surge deck from Henwen of No Goblins Allowed. This, is a, this was a really fun deck. This was a great Friday Night Magic. I had a good time. And we did a clean sweep. That was amazing. All right. Let's swing for the win. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday. Uh, don't untap it. I'll see you guys next Friday for some more Friday Night Magic. This was amazing. Oh, yes. Swing with everything. What you gonna do now? You gonna block that? You gonna take fatal damage? See you later, computer face. Ha ha ha!